Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Uncle Ron's Academy. Today we are going to learn how to extract DNA from strawberries. Every living creature on earth has DNA in it, which is the genetic information that tells the creature, organism, how to grow properly. So strawberries, being a plant, also have DNA. You're going to need a few things. Obviously, you need strawberries. You also need dishwashing detergent, salt, very cold isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and a cup of water. You also need a plastic bag and a collecting jar and a coffee filter paper. Okay, so step number one is you need to make your extracting solution, the chemicals that are going to take the DNA out of the strawberry. We start with one cup of water. Next, we add two spoonfuls of dishwashing detergent. The purpose of the dishwashing detergent is to remove the cells. The cell membrane is made of lipids, and this takes care of greases and oils, which are lipids, so the detergent will break open the cells. So we take one spoonful of detergent and a second spoonful of detergent and mix it up. Next, we need a teaspoon of salt. The purpose of the salt is to help the DNA clump together. So we take one spoonful of salt and mix that in as well. And now we have our extracting solution. Okay, step number two is we need to mush up the strawberries so that we can break apart the cells. So I've taken two strawberries and I'm going to put them in a plastic bag. And I am going to smush them up as best as I can, removing as much air. We don't want air to get in. Removing as much air as possible. And we smush them. Strawberry goo. We don't want any big pieces. This may take a while. Okay, now we have strawberry mush. Now we are going to put the extracting fluid into the bag. Again, we are going to try to remove as much air as possible. And we need to give it two or three minutes to let the detergent and the salt do their work. So the detergent is now breaking open the cells of the strawberry. The salt is helping the DNA clump together. You should not be mixing it up so well that you see bubbles. I am seeing some bubbles here, which means I mixed it a little bit too much. We don't want air to get in. We're gonna let this stay for a few minutes and then we're going to pour it back into a jar. Okay, now we've waited a few minutes, letting the detergent and the salt do their work. We've got sort of a strawberry mush in here, and we're going to pour it into a bottle, but we're trying to remove all the solid pieces, so we're going to filter them out by using filter paper. So basically, filter paper is paper that has small little pores in it, and solid materials, will get stuck and liquid will be able to go through. So we're going to fold our filter paper to fit into a funnel like this. And now we're going to pour all of this in. The liquid will go through the filter paper. And the solid material will be caught. Okay, 
okay, you can see it dripping down through the filter paper. Again, this is going to take a few minutes until it all comes through. Okay, most of the strawberry juice has gone through the filter paper. I'm giving it a gentle squeeze to see if I can get some more out. And now we are going to discard the filter paper. Don't need it anymore. Don't need the funnel. And now we have our strawberry juice over here. We're going to gently pour it into a small beaker, trying not to get any bubbles. Okay, looks delicious. We can drink it though. And now we are going to add a small amount of rubbing alcohol. It needs to be kept cold. And as we gently pour it in, the DNA should begin to separate because alcohol is less dense than water. Alcohol will float, taking the DNA up with it. So we're gonna gently pour in some alcohol. DNA all by itself is not very impressive. I can actually see it now. There is a layer, sort of looks like clumpy little stringy, sticky stuff. And that's what we're going to pull out with a stick. Alcohol is on top, strawberries down at the bottom. And in the middle, there is DNA. So we tried to get some of this DNA out by twirling the stick around. I can actually see the pieces of DNA. And here it comes. And that is DNA. It sort of looks like sticky goo. Now we can pull it around some more and get some more. This is a better batch over here. And there is DNA. Put DNA under a regular microscope. You really can't see much because DNA is so tiny, you would need a electron microscope to see all the different parts of it. But there we have pure DNA taken from a strawberry plant. Thank you. Bye.